welcome back to my channel. I could not be more excited to film this video today for you guys. We are going to be talking all about dollar makeup, you guys. Dollar makeup. Drugstore prices are creeping up here recently, and I feel like a lot of drugstore prices are not really that drugstore or affordable anymore. So this whole everything I'm using here today is like a dollar from Shop Miss A. Not only have I found some really great gems for a dollar, I am so excited to be saying that this video is sponsored by Shop Miss A. So thank you so much to them for partnering with me on this video so I can tell you guys all about some affordable gems that like are really good, you guys. This makeup is good and affordable and I cannot wait to apply it on my face and show you just how good it is. Before we get started, don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to see a full face of dollar makeup, that's like really good makeup. <laughs> then let's go ahead and get started. I'm sure you have, but if you haven't heard of Shop Miss A, they are a female founded website, which I think it is so important to support female founded brands. I say I'm sure you have heard of them because I feel like they are definitely gaining notoriety over the last couple of years because their products are so affordable. But you guys, I'm telling you, I have tried out almost every single one of these products I'm going to mention in today's video at least once, some of them multiple times. And I am so impressed with how good quality these products are. Not that I'm like surprised because I've heard that from other YouTubers and seen it on other videos. They're vegan, they're cruelty free. Some of their products like donate to charity. I just think it's amazing. So their in-house brand is called the AOA Studio. And like I said, most of their products are a dollar, but some of them are a dollar fifty. If you can see here, it says charity edition so any product that donates to charity is going to be a dollar 55 this pawpaw line it donates to animal abuse and stopping animal abuse and they also have this a plus line that donates to children's ed education which as a uh, former teacher I love that and I definitely support that so when they reached out to me to work together on this video I was so stinking excited I have been wanting to try more of their products because like I said in the intro drugstore prices are creeping up some products are upwards of like 15 20 20 25 dollars and i'm sorry that is not drugstore prices in my opinion so the fact that shop miss a is able to keep all of their aoa products as low as they are i just think is amazing they do have other brands on there as well but like i said the aoa studio is their in-house brand and that's what i'll be mostly talking about today a couple of products i haven't quite tried out yet the first one is the argan oil sponge soap and this one is in the strawberry scent so it's just a um soap that you can clean your like brushes and sponges on it comes in a nice tin can I just haven't tried this out yet because the one I'm currently using is not up and I don't want to be wasteful and have too many open at once. But I also got their Paw Paw Makeup Brush Cleansing Mat. I'm excited for this. I just have like a really tiny one that I use now and it's like really hard to like scrub my brushes on there, especially like my big face brushes. So to have one that's like this large and in charge will be perfect for the next time I am cleaning my brushes. The first product I'm gonna use and demonstrate for you guys is their Hair Tamer Finishing Wand. I actually use a wand like this in pretty much my everyday life. So when I saw that they offered one for a dollar fifty-five, I was so happy and excited. This comes in different flavors as well and this is vanilla. So what I like to do with these type of products is like all these little crazy baby hairs that do not, can you see them? Can you see them like flying in the wind? They do not like to like be calm and tame. So I like to use these type of wands to just kind of like comb down my hair almost and just keep it in place. It's like a really nice gel sort of consistency, but it doesn't make my hair look greasy or oily or crunchy or bunchy or anything like that. And it does, it does smell like vanilla, which is nice. So we're gonna do our eyes first, like I typically do on all of my videos. I have been loving this eye primer. This is the Soft Base Nude Eye Primer. Okay, this comes in different shades, but I got the nude shade, which is the one closest to my skin tone. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love that it's in a squeezy tube because it gets just like a little bit messy. However, the product is like really good, so I don't mind. I just squeeze out a little bit on my finger and I just kind of like rub it into my eyes. I just put it down a little bit like this and then I take my brush that I typically use and just blend it in. And if you can tell, it has like a nude sort of shade to it. So it blanks out all of my like lines and discoloration and veins in my eyelids, which is exactly what I like to do when it comes to an eye primer. And I've been using this every day for the past like week, week and a half or so. 
and it's good you guys it keeps my eyeshadow on nicely it doesn't crease my eyeshadows don't fade on it i've used it with quite a few different brands at this point and i i really i really like this eyeshadow primer then we have two eyeshadow palettes that i'm going to go into today this one is the aoa studio this is their love child eyeshadow quad so I'm going to be getting into the greens today, which I'm really, really excited about. I also got their Fairy Garden eyeshadow quad. This is way more like neutral, everyday tone sort of eyeshadow shades that I think a lot of people would be inclined to use on the daily basis. I have gone ahead and used these in the past, like earlier in the week for work. And I did a more like toned down sort of look with the um, like tan sort of shades. I'll pop up a picture here. They were beautiful. Like they blended out nicely. The mattes were nice. They didn't get patchy. They were pigmented without being too pigmented the shimmers were beautiful they were impactful on the lid they stayed on my lid they didn't like crumble throughout the day or crease and I was like super super impressed with using the more neutrally shades so I'm even like more excited to try out the greens today did I think this through I have on this like bright yellow shirt no I did not think that through but that's okay we're using the greens anyways <laughs> I think I'm just going to use a mixture of the two palettes, but we are going to start off with this shade right here in the Flower Child um, palette. Not too much kick up in the pan, which is really, really nice. And we're just going to put this down as a transition shade. It's a little bit close to my skin tone, but it's just enough that gives me a nice transition. Now, I haven't tried the green eyeshadows out yet, so I'm hoping that they are beautiful, but I have high hopes because the other ones are nice. So next, we're going to go into this shade right here. Again, not too much kick up in the pan, but it looks like it's going to have pretty nice pigmentation and we're just going to also put that into the crease we're gonna do a second layer here build it up a little bit Oof, that's pretty it's building nicely I'm gonna do a third layer just because I want it to be a little intense it's definitely not as bright on my eye as it is in the pan but I don't mind that because greens can get really bright and intense really quickly so I wouldn't want to go overboard you know what I mean this one is getting slightly patchy but if you're not new here you know that Eyeshadow always gets patchy on me, like truly. I really do think it's my eyelids because every single brand and type of shadow I use gets patchy on me, especially here on the inner corner if you see that skipping, but that's really typical for me. Next, we're gonna take this deep, dark, huntry green. The shade is beautiful. I'm really hoping that it looks good on the eyes because it is a really pretty shade. I am going in with a second layer right here. That is really, really pretty. And I like how pigmented it is, but it's not too pigmented that like when you first put it on, you're like, whoa, what am I doing? Like, I can't blend this out. You know what I mean? It's a really soft shadow, but in like a good way. We're gonna go back with that green, original green shade and just buff and blend. All right, I went ahead and applied some glitter primer on the inner portion of my lid. They did have a glitter primer, but I did not pick it up. And we're gonna go into the Fairy Garden palette and we're gonna dip into this shimmery shade right here. Look at that pigmentation. That is really pretty. I'm gonna keep it here on the like more middle portion. It is a little bit thicker of a like shimmer shade. So these, these like are the type of shimmer shades that can have some fallout if you're not careful. So I do recommend going in with some sort of tacky base, like a glitter primer, and then just doing your eyes first like I normally do. And then we're going to go into this shade right here. This is a little bit more subdued. It doesn't look that subdued on the lid. I guess it's not more subdued. It's just a little less chunky of a um, glittery shimmery shade. Like if you can tell on my eye, it's a little bit more shimmery where this is a little bit more like impactful. But we're just going to marry the two here. Ooh, yeah. This is giving me like holiday vibes, like Christmassy holiday vibes. But honestly, I'm not mad at it. I do also have this AOA Studio Buttercream Gel Liner Shadow. This is in the shade Blueberry. It's a matte. I picked this up solely because I saw Taylor Wynn using this in one of her videos using Shop Miss A Dollar Makeup. And I just fell in love with it. It's like a really jelly sort of consistency. And it is intense and beautiful but I'm not going to get into it today. I don't know if I would use it as like a liner or a shadow. You can use it as either. And they had a ton of different shades. Next up for primer, I had to pick this primer up because I've heard so many people talk about it, especially my friend Ava Tooze here on YouTube. She loves this primer and she's not even like a primer type of gal. So when I saw her loving it, I was like, yeah, I need to try that out. And this is their AOA Studio Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. I've used this a couple times this past week. This is a really nice, just hydrating jelly sort of consistency that sinks 
into your skin but what I like about it is it doesn't make you too oily or greasy throughout the day. It really doesn't do a whole lot in the sense of like smoothing your face or blanking out your pores. So if that's an issue for you, I would then go in with like another primer. This is solely a like hydrating sort of primer. But if you can tell, it just gave my face a really nice just hydrated sheen and glow. Next up we have some foundations and actually we do have a concealer and I think I'm going to go ahead and spot conceal with this concealer first because it's a little too deep and dark for me to use on my under eyes and then we're going to go in with some of their foundation. So first up we have their liquid concealer. I picked up the shade Fair Ivory. They do have other shades in this but they were all sold out unfortunately so I'm just going to get a little bit on the back of my hand. It is a squeezy tube and we're just going to spot conceal with this. I'll move this. Yeah okay. I was gonna say maybe it is light enough definitely not for under my eyes but we're just gonna take some of this and you guys know I got some acne on my face and we're just gonna try to cover this up first before we go in with foundation I am gonna be using their pawpaw sponge you guys have probably heard about this sponge a million times on YouTube it is very very popular and for good reason I've used one of these before it's a really nice sponge it's soft it blends in your makeup nicely it's not like too dense but it is dense enough it doesn't soak up a ton of your makeup they're like a dollar 55 it's like a win 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 so this isn't like the most full coverage concealer i've ever used it definitely didn't cover up like a ton of my redness but it just gave enough coverage and like i said i'm gonna go in with foundation over top of it i will definitely have to keep using this i hadn't tried this out before just now so i'll definitely have to keep using this and giving you guys my thoughts same with the foundations i haven't tried these out yet either but i'm excited too because i've heard really good things about it this is their a plus buildable satin foundation i picked up two shades and i don't think it says the shades on the bottles i'm so sorry i'll have it listed down below i'm gonna have all of these linked for you as well on the back it says the a plus satin foundation is a lightweight liquid formula that delivers a buildable coverage and a long-lasting natural finish i actually really like natural finish foundations because they're not like too matte too glowy too dewy nothing like that sorry it says to shake well so i'm shaking well um, i'm gonna mix these two shades together i think it's one of those like dropper style um, application so I'm just going to get a little bit out I don't I don't know if these are gonna be the best shade matches for me unfortunately but we're gonna try our best to make it work so there's the two shades I'm just gonna mix them together we're gonna dot it oh yeah okay so the shade match not the best not the best but we're gonna try to make it work so let me I don't know how fast this dries so let me blend this in you guys know I'm pretty picky when it comes to foundations oh it has a scent to it like a, I mean it's it's kind of strong but it's not anything off-putting it's like a soft light airy clean sort of scent yeah definitely not a good shade match but not the end of the world all right so here's the foundation I'll blend it in with just one layer I am going to try to build it up it's looking pretty good for one layer it did even out my skin and I feel like if you are someone who doesn't have a ton of like acne and redness to cover up one layer of this would be pretty nice and you guys it's not looking dry on my face which i'm really enjoying it could be the aqua hydrating face primer as well but you guys know if you're not new here you know that a lot of foundations look super dry on my forehead and my nose and it's looking slightly dry on my nose i don't know if you'll be able to tell but it's not looking like that on my forehead which is really nice but with that being said it's also pretty dewy looking which i'm a little nervous about that only because you know, I get oily, oily throughout the day, but we're going to um, build it up with a second layer. I don't love this sort of applicator, the squeezy tube. It's not my favorite. I would prefer like a bottle with a pump, but that's just me being picky. So we're going to go in with a second layer. Blend this in. Okay, so it's definitely buildable, like it says. So here's the foundation. I'll blend it in with two layers. I definitely do think it built up quite a bit, like it said. I honestly can see a lot of people liking this foundation because it is more medium coverage. You can build it if you need to. It feels really lightweight on the skin. I, I can't even feel it on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy. And even though it's looking pretty oily and greasy right now, it doesn't feel oily and greasy. I do think layering it up made it a little bit heavy heavy looking on the skin it's a little bit drier on my forehead and my nose than it was with just one layer so maybe this is going to be the type of foundation that I'm just going to have to go in and really spot conceal these areas first and then put this on top so overall not my favorite foundation I've ever tried but I actually am liking how it's looking on my skin again for the third time not a really good shade match for me but they did have other shades but I do think these are like the lightest shades so if you are 
fair like me or any fairer. I don't know how it would work, but I feel like if I had more of a tan going on, this would work for me. So this could be like a good summer foundation for me because of the shade and that it's so lightweight. So, so far I'm liking it, not my favorite, but I am liking it. Off camera, I went ahead and applied concealer and powdered my face. Other than this uh, liquid concealer right here that was too dark to use on my under eyes, I didn't pick another concealer up. And as far as powder, I was really bummed. They actually had a loose powder that looked really promising from their AOA Studio Perfect line, which is the bronzer and blush line that I'm going to be using like in two seconds. Uh, but they were sold out of the shade that would have worked for my skin, which I was really bummed about because I would have liked to try that out. They did have pressed powders, but I'm just not a pressed powder kind of guy. So I went ahead and skipped over them. Next up for bronzer, we're going to use the AOA Studio Perfect Bronzing Powder. This is in the shade Frappe. It's the lightest shade that it comes in, but they did have quite a few other shades to choose from as well in case this is a little bit too light for you. I've been really impressed with this bronzer throughout the week. I've used it quite a few times for work. I'm just going to swirl my brush in. It does have a little bit of kick up if you can tell, but nothing terrible. Is this like super nice luxurious packaging? No, of course not. It's literally a dollar. It's like plastic packaging but the most important part is how the actual product works and I feel like this works really nicely on my skin it blends in beautifully it's a little pigmented at first but you just got to be careful but it blends in really beautifully and I haven't noticed it like fading or budging throughout the day the couple of times that I have applied it it's a nice tone for my skin as well it's got a little bit of warmth to it but especially right now in the summertime i actually like that i think it helps you look like sun-kissed and tan and golden and bronzed and this reminds me a lot of other drugstore bronzers that i own that are like ten dollars fifteen dollars and it's literally one dollar so i definitely think this is comparable to other drugstore products that i have tried but for literally a fraction of the price. If you can see, it has a little bit of sheen to it as well, which that just makes you look so like healthy and glowy. I like bronzers that have a little bit of sheen. I don't like when they have glitter in them, but this one doesn't. It just has like a tiny like glow to the skin. You're gonna bronze down here, try to help this uh, foundation matches a little bit better. I did wanna mention though, as I was setting down the foundation with powder, I do feel like I lost a tiny bit of coverage like I feel like some of this is peeking through a lot of foundations do that to me and if you're someone who like isn't obsessed with full coverage foundation like myself I don't think it would be an issue for you next up we have two different highlighters to discuss I'm not gonna lie these are probably my least favorite products of everything that I'm going to be talking about today. This one right here is their AOA Studio Velour Highlighter. I picked up the shade Circus I think that there are people out there that are going to really enjoy this highlighter, but I it's just not the type of formulation that I typically go for. If you can tell, it's a little bit more of like a putty, moussey sort of formulation, and it's a little bit chunky and glittery, which I just personally don't like that sort of formulation. I think there are plenty of people out there who would really like this type of highlighter. I think it's beautiful. Like if you could tell it is blinding and like impactful and it would be really impactful on the cheeks. But when I tried this the other day for work, it did just look a little chunky on the cheeks. The other one I have is the AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter. I, this is my favorite of the two and I feel like there is going to be an audience for this as well. So in this, I picked up the shade Cloud. If you can tell, it's like real icy, right? And I do like a baked highlight formula, but it is like real icy on the skin, which I think in the winter time, this will match me a little bit better. Like I said, I have a little bit of a tan going on right now. And then with this foundation, that's just not matching me. This might look a little too icy and bright on my skin tone. A lot of the times highlighters that are light enough for super fair skin tones are really, really icy and intense, like really impactful on the cheeks, which I like. I like that sort of highlight, but I know not everyone does. So if you are really fair and you don't want as intense of a highlight, you just want a little bit of glow to your skin, something that looks a little bit more natural, I do think that this would be a good product for you to check out, but you can build it up if you need to. And they also did have other shades. So it could just be this cloud shade that I think is a little bit too light for my skin tone right now. So this is gonna be the one that I go ahead and use today. There is quite a bit of kick up in the pan, not that you can probably tell, but your brush picks up quite a lot. So I would definitely tap your brush off. And then I'm just going to start by buffing it in. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And again, it's gonna look a little bit more intense on me right now because it is so light of a shade. But if you were really fair, this would just be a really beautiful, like light, sheeny wash and glow on your skin. 
but I like that it doesn't emphasize texture. If you can see, I've got like some acne there. I do have texture on my cheeks and it's not really emphasizing it, which is really, really nice and kind of rare for a highlight. I feel like most highlights do emphasize texture. Then we have two shades of their AOA Studio Perfect Blush. This is in the shade Mod and it's just like a really beautiful, pinky, purpley undertone sort of shade. It's really, really pretty. It's, it shows up more on the cheeks. This is gonna be the one I use today, but we also have this stunning bright shade in the shade Frenzy. This is beautiful. It is more of that like poppy, punchy, bright sort of shade that looks a little bit scary and intense but honestly it's really pretty on the cheeks i'm gonna pop up a picture here i used it yesterday for work with like a really nice toned down neutrally sort of eyeshadow look and lip look and that was kind of like the pop of color on my face and it was beautiful on my cheeks lasted all day long did not budge did not fade so i think if you're someone who would like to dabble in brighter sort of blushes but they scare you and you are not totally comfortable with it this would be a really great shade to start off with because it is so affordable it's a dollar you're not going to be out a ton of money if you don't end up using it and i can use that shade in another video coming up but today i am going to use that mod shade because I do have such a bright green sort of eye look on. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and start by packing it on. These are a little bit more buildable of a formula, which I like with blushes. So that way you don't go overboard and you don't have like clown cheeks right off the bat. I do wish it was a little bit more cool tone on me. It looks more cool tone. It looks more cool tone on the computer when I was ordering it. And it does look a little bit more cool tone in the pan that I feel like it shows up on my cheeks. Oof. This is a pretty blush. I did go ahead and pick up a brow pencil as well. This is their Slim Brow in the shade Medium Brown. It's just a really nice skinny sort of brow pencil. I've used this over the week and I like it. It's a nice pencil. This is a good one because it's not too waxy and not too pigmented right off the bat, which is nice. You're not gonna get like super intense brows without trying. I've noticed that this didn't really budge all day either. And I like how thin it is. You can get like real in there. So yeah. So far, so good. Really quickly, I wanna do a really simple lower lash line. So I'm just gonna take this shade right here from the Flower Child palette and we're just gonna run it along here. I could do the greens, which would look really pretty, but I'd rather just have a little more simple of a lower lash line today. Maybe I should try to use this highlighter as like an inner corner highlight. Let's try that. Again, this is their Velour Highlighter in Circus. I'm just gonna try to rub a tiny bit. Like it just picks up so much. I'm gonna rub a little bit off on my hand and try to put that as my inner corner highlight. I mean, that is actually really pretty as an inner corner highlight because it's giving like a little hint of purple, which is looking really pretty with that green. Next up for mascara, I picked up their AOA Studio Big Boss Mascara. This is supposed to help with volume and length. I'm not gonna lie, this is not my favorite mascara. However, I'm really picky when it comes to mascaras. It has a wand that I do enjoy. It has like that spiky sort of plasticky bristle wand that I do like and it's a big daddy doe foot like this is a large and in charge which I don't mind it can get a little bit messy but as long as you're careful it should be fine again I'm really picky when it comes to mascaras my lashes are very short and stubby and they don't like to hold a curl so I noticed when I applied this earlier in the week that it didn't really do much for a curl also, it can get a little bit clumpy, but the main reason I don't love it is it was pretty difficult to remove the night that I wore it. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit less today and hopefully that'll help with the clumpiness. Maybe it's just one of those formulas that like less is more. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there and that actually looks really pretty. I'm not gonna go in with a second coat like I did the other day. I wouldn't go solely off of my recommendation and my review on this mascara because one like i said i'm really picky and also they have a, quite a few other mascaras to choose from this was like one of probably like seven or eight different mascaras so you could probably find one that you do enjoy but i did want to be honest and let you guys know that this isn't like my most favorite mascara ever but it's not a bad one and again it's a dollar even like drugstore mascaras are getting up to like 12 13 14 dollars which is just a lot of money you know what i mean so if you can find one of these that you do enjoy for a dollar oh my gosh you cannot beat it oh shoot i forgot to use this dang it <laughs> this is their gel eyeliner and i picked up the shade brown i'm so sorry i forgot to use it i was gonna smudge it on my lash line and try to make a wing out of it but i already put mascara on so i'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it for you instead i got this because taylor Wynn said she really really enjoyed it and i liked it i did try it earlier in the week i feel like it smudged away a little bit as i was trying to smudge it out and like buff it out but it is a nice brown color and it seemed to last fine on my eyelids once it kind of set down a couple more products and then we are done we have some lip products to talk about and then a setting spray i have three different lip products i'm not going to use them all today so the first one is the wander matte liquid lipstick and this i picked up the shade fearless 
This is a beautiful, bright pink, strawberry, watermelon-y sort of shade. This will be absolutely stunning on the lips. I did try this on the other day and it was a little bit drying. It was a little bit drying. It's a typical liquid lipstick sort of formulation, but it's not anything that was so drying that my lips were like cracking off. Then we also have their AOA Studio Velvet Lips. In this, I picked up the shade Arya, A-R-Y-A. This is a really beautiful, like matte, moussey sort of lip. And that shade is stunning. It's like a beautiful, mauvey, purpley, pinky, berry shade. This is beautiful. Again, I tried this on the other day and it was a little bit more comfortable because it's not a liquid lipstick, like dry down matte. It is a velvet lip sort of formulation like Estate, so it's not gonna like suck the life out of you. And last but not least, the one I am gonna go in with today is their AOA Studio. This is just their bullet lipstick. I picked up the shade Bliss. Okay, so this broke. What a bummer. All right. So this like popped out and it's not like twisting up and down anymore. I don't know why. I don't know why this broke. Oh my gosh, I'm bummed because I actually really did enjoy this shade I wore to work the other day. All right, well, I'm just gonna apply it right now. It is a typical bullet lipstick formulation. It has a little bit of sheen and glow to it. And I actually really like this shade. I'm bummed that this just broke and I can't, I'm gonna try to like finagle with it later. Maybe like have Mike look at it. I feel like he could fix anything. And last but not least, we have their A plus setting spray. This is supposed to lock in makeup. It says it's lightweight, has a matte finish and is long lasting. So let's spray this on my face. The mister on it is a little bit intense. You kind of have to go over with your sponge to get rid of like the little dots it leaves. And it does have a scent to it, but it's not anything that's super overpowering. I have used this twice so far, so this is my third time. And I do like it. I don't know how long it made my makeup like super long lasting, but I do enjoy it. And I do think it's lightweight, like it says. I also don't really see a matte finish. I think it gave me a little bit of sheen and glow, but I actually like it. And that was you guys. That was my get ready with me using all dollar makeup from Shop Miss A. I know that I was talking really, really highly about a lot of these products, saying that I really like and enjoy them, but I'm being honest with you guys. Like, I really do like this makeup. I've been using most of these products all throughout this past week at work. I didn't want to sit down and do a first impressions and, like, tell you my first impressions thoughts and be like, I like this, go buy it, without really fully testing these products. You know what I mean? And like I said, I've been using them all this week, uh, minus the couple that I said I was using for the first time today. But overall, I actually really like how this look turned out. I think the eyeshadows are beautiful. They're really, really affordable. You guys saw how pigmented they were. They blended out really easily. Those shimmers are super impactful and stunning on the lids. I love this blush. The bronzer is nice. Other than the couple products I said I wasn't too sure about, like the highlights and the mascara, I really do enjoy a lot of this makeup. And I'm so happy that I was able to sit down and do this video for you, apply it on my face, show you how they work on me and my skin tone, my skin preferences, all of that. And show you that like these are really bomb products for only a dollar thank you again to shop miss a for sponsoring this video and working with me on this video i could not be happier to work with this brand i'm gonna have everything listed and linked down below for you in case you want to check any of them out let me know down below have you tried these makeup products like have you tried shop miss a before if you have let me know your thoughts and opinions and what you have tried because there's tons of other things on the website that i wanted to try that i did not get a chance to try out in this video so i definitely plan on getting more from them in the future if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much you're awesome and i love you please subscribe if you have not yet and hope to see you in my next video bye guys